Global Investigative Journalism Network acts as the international hub for the world's investigative reporters. We were founded uh, really back in 2001 with the first Investigative Journalists International Conference where we had 300 people gather in Copenhagen. Today, we have nearly 180 groups in 77 countries, all working to promote and spread quality investigative journalism around the world. We do conferences. Our last one here in Hamburg drew 1,800 people from 131 countries. It is by far our largest yet. CICM works to strengthen the infrastructure that supports investigative journalism around the world. We do that by building up the networks that tie journalists together and providing the latest tools and training. Our help desk has responded to over 7,000 requests for assistance from all over the world. And that's backed up by our resource center, a gold mine of material ranging from basic skills on data journalism till more advanced topics such as satellite imagery or tracking ships at sea. Every day on GAGEN.org, we publish tips, tools, case studies, and resources about investigative journalism around the world. We get stories out on social media in eight different languages and nine regions. We have editors based in Kampala, Paris, Bogota, Hong Kong, Washington DC, Budapest, and I'm based in Johannesburg. We really are a global team. Uh, we in the Arabic team share the latest tips and uh, tools and news and opportunities uh, with Arab journalists. We help them to get in our conferences and other international conferences. We consider ourselves as a bridge between Arab journalists and the rest of the world. We are also translating GIGN resources into Bangla for Bangladeshi and Indian audiences. Uh, by this, we are actually taking the global knowledge to the local journalists. And in this process, now local journalists are enough empowered to think global in terms of investigative journalism. All over the world, we see newsrooms, especially newsrooms doing investigative journalism, struggling, looking for the funds they need to do their great investigations. So we're trying to do things to help support them, think of new ways of finding money. Um, and this is everything from offering resources to running workshops to putting them in touch with experts. I am the executive director of the Center for Investigative Journalism in Puerto Rico. GIJN has been a great support to our center in terms of investigative journalism, but also for training of journalists from Puerto Rico and the Caribbean. And they have been very supportive also of our litigation efforts in court to get public documents. Without GIJN, we wouldn't have been able to make it this far. Every other year, GIJN gives out the Global Shining Light Awards for investigative work in transitioning or developing democracies in dire conditions. My organization, Rappler, won for Murder in Manila, which is an investigation on vigilantes in the Philippines. It is an honor to receive the award, to shine a light on the stories we tell, and I hope that it makes a difference. Uh, the network keeps growing because people around the world care about what's going on behind the scenes, what's happening in their societies and behind closed doors. So today, despite all the challenges that investigative journalists face, legal challenges, lack of resources, physical threats, imprisonment, despite all of that, today we have more investigative reporters doing better work in more countries with more sophisticated tools than ever before. That's why investigative journalism is not going away, and that's why GIJN is here.